And now, to present this year's Honorable Mentor Award, please welcome CEO and President Baxalta Ludwig Hansen. I think, I think that's the Baxalta team, no? I can't see you. But can we turn up the lights a little bit so I can connect with my audience? And uh, it's great to, uh, to see all of you. I remember coming to this event about 20 years ago. And thanks to the HBA team uh, for making this a true event, but not only a one-day event, but being part of uh, the DNA within uh, our corporate life. So let's give them a round of applause again. Well done. Just look around the room here. A lot of talent, and I've been very fortunate to work with a lot of talent uh, that's in this room over the years. As a matter of fact, I was here two years ago doing the same thing, introducing the uh, 2014 HBA Mentor of the Year. As a matter of fact, Brian Goff, we saw you on screen there. Well done. Uh, another one. <laughs> but when you take a step back, Everybody in this room, we're very fortunate to work in an industry where we can make a big change, a big impact on the lives of our patients. And that is our purpose. As a matter of fact, I've learned over the years that an organization that is very strong on its purpose will drive performance. And when you think about our HBA, our 2016 HBA Mentor of the Year, that definition really describes who he is. Jacopo Leonardi. Now, he's a truly inspiring leader, a truly inspiring colleague, and I'm very fortunate to, uh, to work with him. He's heading up the uh, immunology division within Baxalta. And believe me, it's a, a division that has put a big stamp uh, on our organization, but at the end of the day, it is the impact, it's about the impact that we have on patient lives. And what he has done through organizational development, individual talent development, as well as uh, working with the medical community, raised the bar on standard of care for primary immune deficiency, as well as a hemophilia. I'm so proud of him. And he's a role model for us, just to give you a couple of numbers. He has at least one day per week, a full day per week, that he's spending on talent development and organizational development with a very strong focus on gender diversity. I know I only have one minute here, so I need to, uh, to stop my talk, and I know he's jumping up and down to, uh, to get on stage here, but before we do that, I'd like to welcome his family, and if we can turn on the lights, so I can see where the family is, because I don't see anybody from here. It's, uh, over, over there sitting next to uh, Jacopo, why don't you stand up? So that, this is Jacopo Leonardi. Let's give him a round of applause already. <laughs> sitting next to Jacopo is his lovely wife, Leslie. Uh, so welcome to uh, this celebration, Leslie. His parents, Luigi and Linda, where are you? So welcome, as well as... Uh, as well as the four kids, Emma, Ginger, Sydney, and Charlie. We're gonna put you in the spotlight where you guys stand up as well. So this is it, without, without further ado, the 2016 HBA Mentor of the Year, Jacopo Leonardi. He's always got something up his sleeve, Ludwig. That's, uh, wow. I really, I wish you could all see what I could see. Because what I see is a ballroom filled with incredible super sheroes. To Jennifer Cook, our inspiring and transformational woman of the year, to our star, to our rising stars and luminaries, 
and all the other incredible women leaders, this is your day. This is a day to celebrate you and all of your incredible achievements. Now, I am truly humbled to be recognized by the HBA as the Honorable Mentor. The reason I'm humble is because all of my life I have been inspired, shaped, mentored, and even reverse mentored by super heroes. You have to understand, I have three brilliant, bold, and beautiful teenage daughters who you just met, Emma, Ginger, and Sydney, and an awesome son, Charlie. I get reverse mentored all the time. <laughs> the three Powerpuff girls over there. I couldn't possibly give back in a thousand lifetimes all of the joy and lessons that I've learned from the many remarkable women in my life. I've kind of won the woman leadership lottery, to be honest with you. Now, as a coach and a mentor, there is no greater joy than to see the stars shine. And I have used this joyful sense of purpose to energize and to give to others as much as I can. Now, I may have learned this lesson in life a little earlier than most, the hard way. When I was 17, my brother Daniel and I were in a horrific car accident. Car flipped over. Dan was thrown through the hatchback window. Thankfully, he's got a really hard head. He hit a tree, but he was fine. I was knocked unconscious, and I was pinned between a car and a curb. They had to use the jaws of life to get me out. We were very lucky to survive that day. But you know what? The universe had spoken. It wasn't our time. Many times since that day, I've had the same burning existential thought. If that would have been my time, would I have left this world any better off than when I came in? Would I have made a difference? So now, anytime I'm faced with a challenge and I need to dig deep, I ask myself two simple questions. If not me, then who? And if not now, then when? The truth is, being a dedicated mentor of women is not enough. We can dream bigger. We can do even more. I have a dream. A dream that I share with the incredible leaders of the HBA that someday, in the very near future, our boardrooms and executive offices will truly reflect the diversity of the communities that we were built to serve, and that at least half of the CEOs, executive officers, and board members will be women and diverse leaders. We have a dream, and if we really want to change the world, we must spark and accelerate a diversity and inclusion revolution inspiring people of all kinds to be their best true selves and to work together in a high-performing, inclusive manner so that they can make a difference in the lives of the people we serve. And when I look out in this room, I see a ballroom filled with visionary and talented leaders. So you know I have to ask us, if not us, then who? And if not now, then when? So how are we going to do it? Well, if we want to accelerate diverse leadership to the top, we must move from just mentoring to sponsoring and championing. Because with sponsorship and championship, we have more skin in the game. Sponsorship is saying that I want to take a bet on someone who I see greatness in before she sees it in herself. And championship? Well, championship says that I'm going to fight for her to take on that greater leadership opportunity. Someone who I know with a little caring and coaching and support will unleash her Shiro superpowers and be the legacy-leaving leader that we know she can be. Now, the good news is there are shining examples of sponsorship and championship happening right now. I want to recognize two of my great heroes, Ludwig Hansen, our brilliant leader and the heart and soul of Vaxalta, and Brian Goff, my big brother and the 2014 Honorable Mentor of the Year. The two of you have really role model for all of us what it means to serve, inspire, and champion women leaders to be their very best selves. You and our many fine leaders at Baxalta have proven that sponsoring and championing women, it's not just the right thing to do, but it is a competitive advantage, leading to more meaningful impact in healthcare and on a healthy and sustainable business. So Ludwig, Ludwig and Brian, I want to thank you. I also want to recognize a few personal heroes and super heroes. 
who taught me sponsorship and championship along the way. The dynamic duo, my parents, Luigi and Linda Leonardi. <laughs> Pop, thanks for showing so many of us what it means to be all in each and every day and to live life with passion and enthusiasm and to champion the best in others. And mom, you are so insightful, so caring, and always having a deep understanding of others and how to inspire the very best in people. You know, Mom, from the time I was a little boy, you had the superpower of making me feel like the superhero I always wanted to be, even if I really was just Clark Kent. <laughs> or some goofy kid running around a Queen's apartment complex in Batman underoos and a towel for a cape, chasing down the backyard bullies. Dan, you remember that, that's right. Mom and Dad, thank you for always making me feel like I was more than enough for this world. I love you very much. And my, and my beautiful and loving wife, Leslie, the incredible rock and foundation of our family, you are so multi-talented, intelligent, caring, supportive, and wise, really better than me in every imaginable way. It's true. And in the great words of Amanda Morgan, and she really did say this, how the hell did you end up with her? <laughs> Amanda, I have no idea, but honey, thank you for taking a bet on me and for being the best husband a, the best mother a husband could want to our four beautiful babies. Thank you. So now, now I'd like to tell you about a few trailblazers, my original healthcare super heroes, Denise Torres, who can't be with us today, but Denise, I know you're out there, and Christy Shaw, the, 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 the most caring and courageous legacy leading leader who gets profiled on magazine covers and has been an original trailblazing superhero for a long time. But to me, they were my first true superheroes in healthcare. And they taught me a very important lesson that the real you is the most powerful you. So thank you, Denise, and to Christy. Thank you so much for what you did. <laughs> my last and perhaps most important story of the day highlights the true power of sponsorship and championship and how a truly diverse team inspired by a common and meaningful purpose can spark a healthcare community to dream big and to live life to the fullest. Shannon Resetich, our Baxalta rising star, is no ordinary super shero. I met Shannon a little over seven years ago and I was struck by how different she was. She had presence and she was so present. She's an amazing and powerful listener. So good at inspiring the best in her team, recognizing their achievements and giving them the opportunity to shine. Shannon is a true servant leader and a catalyst. But I also noticed something else that Shannon was holding back, that there was more that she could offer. You know, sometimes all any of us need is a little encouragement, a little push, someone to be a mirror to show us the real us and the real brilliance inside. So I encourage Shannon, be bold. You are a unique and inspiring and legacy-leaving leader. Go do what you do. I got your back. And she did. Oh, she did. And that mild-mannered servant leader, Shannon Resetich, mother of six, you heard me, mother of six, transformed into the velvet hammer, able to caringly connect and win the hearts of the rare and inherited bleeding conditions community and her backs off teammates with authentic grace and unique insights combined with fanatical discipline and an inner toughness of justice and perseverance. And together with a team of diverse sheroes and heroes at Baxalta, they sparked a movement in the bleeding conditions community to not accept bleeding as part of their condition, to imagine a life without bleeds and help prevent tens of thousands of bleeding episodes over the past few years, which is really meaningful because when you're not bleeding, you're living. Our super heroes at Baxalta, and I have six tables of them right here. Let's give them a huge round of applause. They are not just leaders, they are true sparks. They are true sparks. And not only did this great team at Baxalta help improve rare disease communities, primary immune deficiency, hemophilia, 
but they also help drive a highly sustainable and successful business, consistently exceeding Wall Street expectations and beating our own long-range forecast by almost $1 billion. Yeah. So there it is. That's our story, and we're sticking to it. <laughs> and it's because of Shannon's story of sponsorship and championship and so many others like her that I ask you, that I implore you to act. You know, without advocates and champions, Shannon may not have had the platform to do what she did. How many other super heroes are out there? I see a ballroom filled with thousands of them. My daughter Emma and I were enjoying a daddy-daughter trip to Boston University where she will be a freshman in the fall. And we were just, yeah, there you go. Give it up. And we were discussing the acceleration of women in leadership. Remember this, Ems? I was describing some of the incredible women that have inspired me over the years, and I said, so-and-so is an incredible woman leader. And she just looked at me with a pensive look far beyond her 18 years and said, Dad, I can't wait for the day when we as a society can just drop the word woman from that statement. Me too, sweetheart. Me too. So to all of you, both men and women, before you walk out that door, I want you to pause and reflect and think of at least one outstanding leader that you will sponsor, that you will champion, to help unleash her boldest and best self. Because by unleashing the superpowers of so many incredible women leaders, so many super heroes, I know that we can and we will spark a healthcare revolution. So I have to ask us once again, if not us, then who? And if not now, then when? So who's with me? Who's with me? So the way we show our excitement at Baxalt is we like to do a power clap. That's right, you didn't think you'd get away without one. This might be, uh, this might be the final send-off. So let's power clap on three. One, two, three. Thank you very much. <laughs>